Okay, Monday, 19th of February, 2024. So, being lucky or being privileged? So, a couple of years ago, in October 2021, I was climbing up a few mountains in uh, Snow Snowdon, North Wales, and then Scaffold Pike in Lake District, North England. And someone I knew, let's say, said to someone else that I knew that, oh, Adrian lives to enjoy his life. So they said to someone else that I live to enjoy my life. And I wasn't angry at the person, but a little, little disappointed. But I was like, I think you need to, need to share something, explain something to them via the same person. It's not that I just woke up one day and here's, here's you know, here's an itinerary, here's an Airbnb walking, here's this mountain, here's a mountain path, here's this fitness, all this physique, go and climb it. No. It's more about being prepared being and having an awareness of what kind of cool things that are worth doing in life and having the organisational skills to make it happen and having the health to actually do it, the time because of the way I organise things and my conscientiousness and the time off and the money and whatever else. It wasn't just someone came up to you one day and said, right, here's the exact amount of money you'll need, here's the booking, here's the path, here's the route, here's the idea, here's, here's what you should do. No, it was a whole list and series of events that culminated in me climbing these two mountains in October 2021 and enjoying my life, you know, taking two weeks off or so to go here and go there, Wales and North England. Very nice. So you could say, is it been lucky? Well, yes and no, because it's luck only in so far as how to manage it. You know, you can win lottery tomorrow, but if you don't, if you don't have the brains or the heart and how to handle the cash, then it's going to slip out of your hand straight away. A fool and his money is, are soon parted. There's an old saying. A fool and his money are soon parted. So you give all the give all millions and millions of pounds to everyone, it'll, the exact same result will happen. Basically, in the end, it won't change. The people who are meant to be, you know, who can handle the cash, meant to be in terms of the personality traits, rich will end up being rich, and those who are meant to be, let's say, poor, will end up being poor. Not because of disparaging, because of what's inside here. Ideas, their knowledge, their understanding, their awareness, or even in here, the greed, the hatred, you name it, the fear, things like that. So decisions have allowed me, the decisions I made in the past, even in October 2021, the decisions I made, the, the decisions I made in the past allowed me to live the life I have now. Able to disappear for a weekend in a different part of England, Disappear to Ireland for two and a half odd weeks and climb mountains there. Able to go to South Wales and run a marathon. Things like that. Able to go to uh, Canary Island. Grand Canaria for a week. Nine or so days and just continue with life as normal afterwards. And the decisions we made in the past. The actions, choices and decisions. We made in the past as far back as 20 odd years ago. You know, a long time ago. Affect us today. And people would look at that at face value and think, oh, they're just lucky. Oh, this is privilege. You could argue that it is lucky and privilege. Like right now, I have the ability to do what I do and the system I've built up and the network and the clients and whatever else. Yeah, you could say that on face value. But behind the scenes, it took days and weeks and months to get to this stage. Even back then, October 21, it wasn't just overnight, it took days, days of planning and preparing and, and training and knows what else. And when I climbed Ben Nevis in 2022, that was months and months of training. When I ran the marathon, that was that was a year or so of, of training and being focused. The business I have now, the level of Spanish I have, this channel, it's not overnight, it takes time. There's a nice saying that an overnight success takes 20 years. Mm. And you could say, well, overnight success, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they lucky? Aren't they privileged? Aren't they privileged? Yes, maybe on the face of it. After 20 years, they're lucky. Yeah, possibly. But it takes time. It's not overnight. Very few things are overnight, I, I remember being told. And generally, I agree. But it takes time to build and create momentum. So, Be lucky and privileged? Maybe. Yes. Again, you can be as lucky and as privileged as you want to be, but if you can't handle it here mentally, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, financially, whatever, or here, or even here, then it's going to slip out of your hands.
Simple as that. Yeah. I learned years ago that it takes thick skin to succeed in business, to succeed in creating amazing things in life. And yeah, it does. The persistence, the ability, the determination, the focus, the goals, the clarity is, is damn important. Yeah. So now with luck, as I said, you can you can be given as much luck as you want, but you're going to know how to maintain it, how to handle it. That's why I disagree with a lot of people that say, oh, it's all just luck. It's all just down to luck. There's an element to it. Simple way of looking at it, sim simply by the argument itself, that luck is in... By looking at the argument itself, we can determine conclusively that luck is indeed a part. The size of that, the relevancy, is a different question. 99%, 1%, you name it. But the fact people talk about luck being a factor proves that it is indeed a factor. If something wasn't a factor in their success, they wouldn't be talking about it. No one talks about oh, how many carrots I ate or how many bananas I had or how many oranges I had on a, on a daily basis or how many, how many pairs of shoes I've got. No one talks about that. Therefore, those factors in life are important, aren't important enough to warrant a meaningful impact and success. But luck is, because it is talked about, therefore it is indeed a factor. Now, some people will say it's a predominant factor, it's the most important thing. I disagree, because, as I said earlier, you can have all the luck in the world, but if you don't act on it, if you don't seize it, you don't recognise it, you mismanage it, then it's irrelevant, because it was given to you on a plate, but you just you, you dropped it, so that's it. Like, again, like I said earlier, winning the lottery, but then going bankrupt and spending it and being back in the same situation you were before, you didn't know how to handle it. You couldn't handle that level of luck. So it was a big mismatch. But it is important. Luck, being privileged, whatever else, is important in life and success and all the rest. Now, you could then say, right, how do you create luck? I don't know exactly. I've got one or two ideas, but I don't know exactly. But the main thing would be work working up there's this nice quote i forgot who said it the harder i work the luckier the luckier i am i agree with that you, you being there being present i think woody allen said something about being present most of success is just turning up something to that effect i agree just by physically being there as an option for the clients or on the list or available or the adverts or the content just being there it contributes to success just doing just deciding to be there for the marathon, being there for the mountains, being there for the clients, being there for nature, just that's half the battle. And the rest is enjoy it and maintain it and, you know, live through it. Yeah. So being lucky and being privileged. Yes. No, maybe. It's all relative because you could then argue and recognize that there are people who are luckier and more privileged than you at any one moment in time. And because there's so many people out there in the world and out there in this society, yeah, the chances are there are someone who is, there is someone who is marginally luckier and more more privileged than you. And there's people who are substantially luckier and more privileged. Just how there are some that are marginally less and much less. Makes sense. Millions of people, what do you expect? So yes, being lucky and being privileged. Yes, no, maybe. But it's about how you handle it, how you manage it. That's important too. Yeah. But otherwise, you will see me tomorrow.